The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swab is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from icky slime and moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it.
have to destroy all five of the purple candles surrounding it. No problem. Don't get cocky or you'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. You've got to get past those voodoo guards, and I'm warning you, they're mean and they work like a team. So do we, buddy. has got to be 588. <laughs> Electrified! Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. trying to keep something in. Thank <laughs> you. 
to get the answer to this one. Try four, four, four. <laughs> ah, a more modern entry. Bruce O'Coop's computer hacking technique. 
using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster at each hideout and project guard information into your binoculum.
This is kind of a guess, but try one, two, eight. <laughs> These are the blueprints to this Ruby's production facility. I'll pipe this information into your binoculum. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. with the flamethrower on your swap skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit.
Ferreira. Lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby Skull Temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Thank <laughs> you. 
for my righteous analytical ability. The combination has to be 571. Mind-bending. It's Matthew Delacoupe's perpetual slow-motion technique. With this move, you can slow down time whenever you want, not just while jumping. Hold down the triangle button to use it.
and feathers in here. Just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. But we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toten roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if Jaws need to flop, Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. Yeah. 
anything like the rest of you. I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Travel plans to China have all been worked out. 